today I'm going to be making a vegan carbonara. I'm going to be using shiitake mushrooms as a sort of meaty replacement to bacon and then also whole wheat spaghetti to make it a bit healthier as well as silken tofu for the sort of eggy sauce. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Firstly I'm going to make marinade for the mushrooms. So we're going to add soy sauce liquid smoke, a sweetener, I'm going to use agave, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. It's good. So I'm going to chop up the mushrooms fairly small, sort of diced, and then we're going to put them in a bowl with the marinade. Give it a good mix that for about 15 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes will help reduce the flavour a bit more but 15 minutes will be enough. So now we're going to make the carbonara sauce which is traditionally eggs and cream but to replace that sort of scrambled egg texture we're going to use silken tofu um, as well as non-dairy milk, nutritional yeast for that cheesy sort of flavour and some other spices. So I think you'll need about 150 grams of silken tofu. I've got a little bit less, I think it'll be okay. We'll add a bit more milk and a few other things to see how we go. For the plant milk, I like using oat milk. It's a really neutral flavour, not sweetened. It tastes like almonds or soy or anything like that. So let's add that into the silken tofu. <music> Adding nutritional yeast for some cheesiness, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then blend till smooth. I've blended it, tasted it, and I think it needs a bit more of that sort of savoury flavour. So I'm going to add some miso paste, just about a teaspoon, and then blend that all together and see how it's looking. So for the sort of base of the dish, I'm going to fry up some leek, some garlic, and then I'm going to add in the sauce, let it thicken up a bit. And I'm going to fry off the mushrooms and cook the pasta, put it all together, and we're done. So behind me, I've got the leeks and garlic frying. Liquid, you could just do this with a sieve and then get them in a pan with some oil, start frying them up. Now that the leeks and garlic have started to fry up and brown a little bit, I'm going to add the sauce to thicken it up. So, as I said before, I didn't quite have enough silken tofu as I would like, and it's not quite enough sauce, so I'm going to add a bit of this oat cream um, just to make more sauce but obviously if you've had enough silken tofu this won't be an issue but this is a really good cream alternative. So I've saved some of the pasta water because the starchiness from the pasta will help thicken up the sauce if it's needed so I'll probably add a little bit to that once the sauce is pretty much done. So now that the mushrooms are done and they're nice and crispy a little bit, I'm going to add the pasta to the sauce and put the mushrooms in and we'll dish this all up. Right, so here we are, all finished. I've also added some homemade parmesan which is just cashews, nutritional yeast and a bit of salt just blended together. It's a really good topping for pastas. So let's try it. Mm. It really good. Wow. So that's the recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back to make more of these and I'll see you next week. Bye.